All right, guys, just running you past the Nirvana Ranger, giving you a look or two at what the machine looks like. Got the uh, 230cc engine, which you'll recognize from the, the, the Nirvana Instinct Highline. You've got the three-bladed pulse prop system. Uh, this is the first machine to come off the assembly line, so it didn't come with the stainless steel exhaust, but currently for all my clients, I'm ordering the stainless steel exhaust, um, which is uh, obviously... Uh, gonna help you out so you don't get so much corrosion now the airbox this is a fantastic da um, addition to it instead of the rodeo uh, filter that you had on the side you now have heat being directed from the exhaust uh, through the airbox and that'll help you with uh, a de-icing problem when you're flying in low temperatures now from what I understand I wasn't part of the, the cold temperature test flights but they're flying in minus temperatures and it is a fantastic addition to do that so you can take the machine travel with it and fly in very cold places but have the ability to go fly them in in 40 degrees celsius days like uh like the one we just uh, been flying in right now all right so you've got the rodeo cage the 125 cage it is smaller than the instinct you have you're supposed to have less power but this is kind of like a mind-boggling thing right now that we are experiencing because we're getting 7500 rpm or so out of the ranger and it's doing really well with my big customers we were looking at you know 100 105 to 110 kilogram guys and it pushes them up like the the the, the coyote strapped to an acne rocket it is just mind-boggling the the lift they're getting the power that they're getting out of this machine so the ns 230 machine is really fantastic it will use more fuel than the instinct i think the development that's got into the instinct will give you that three to three and a half liter fuel use Whereas the range is going to give you a tad more, about 500 mils, uh, uh, milliliters uh, per hour more usage, uh, and you only have the 10 liter tank. So be aware that you are buying a machine that's going to give you about a two to two hour, 20 minute range, instead of the the, the instinct that just <laughs> keeps on going forever. All right, then um, you've got the instinct harness in a camo color, very nice, very popular with uh, with customers in South Africa. You've got the radio holder, which is fantastic because the radio is out of your way and the fantastic new FC5 plug helmet combination. It is fabulous. I can tell you that, guys. You can manage flying in airspace. Uh, here in South Africa, we can fly and join in with, with uh, other fixed-wing aircraft, join the airspace, share the airspace, and uh, most of the time, we've got better communication than they have. All right, you've got your one-stop stop ignition. And that audio alarm you're hearing, well, that is a really important feature because a lot of guys forget to disconnect their batteries. And this machine, after like two or three minutes, the audio alarm goes off and reminds you to disconnect the battery. So, right there, disconnect the battery. And the audio alarm goes off. So, all, all in all, you've got a great package with a reserve chute at the bottom. Now, that is important for cross-country pilots, guys that are going to be flying over canyons and big five country and dangerous areas do not be fooled by the propaganda that you hear from some competitors that say you don't need a reserve chute you don't need an electric start from a fixed wing, a fixed wing pilot to coming to the world of PPG I like the redundancies I like the redundancies so much so that I prefer flying PPG over aircraft because if you get a bird strike over big five country you've got the red handle under your seat that you could pull and save your butt whereas you don't have that with aircraft so flying below 50 meters with a fixed wing aircraft or with a helo is dangerous and that's why they call it the dead man's curve where you've still got options and some of these tests with the uh, from the feedback I'm getting from Nirvana some of the tests have been done as low as 20 meters with the quick response that the reserve chute opens so go for the reserve chute go for the whole package it's not that heavy we're looking at 25 kilos for the whole package you get this wonderful tan uh, color scheme the khaki harness, uh, sorry, the, 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 the camouflage harness and the FC5 helmet. The instinct harness is a little bit longer than the skeleton. So you're actually in a very comfortable position when you're flying this machine. So I would say this is a great package. I wouldn't 
Uh, personally, if I could afford both, I would take the Instinct and the Ranger. They're very different experiences, but you are going to get more out of your Instinct if you're looking at top speed for cross-country flying because you've got the twist air system. Uh, but with this machine, you've got a lot of power, and when you're flying localized flying, uh, and you're doing the kind of rancher work, farmer work, you're going to enjoy having the tougher frame, which will be a little bit more forgiving when it comes to your training days, um, and overall transport as well. So, guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoy the Nirvana Ranger. I hope you buy the Nirvana Ranger, and I'll see you on the next review. Adios.